this really shows why I like playing up against clans because when you piss one of them off they all leave and I, 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 I don't know if I'm the one that pisses off the clan but I, I like to think I am I, I'm, I'm 15 and 1 when they leave and no one else on my team is doing that good so I'm gonna be a little bit egotistical show off the god complex and just assume that I scare the clan off but let's just watch and you can you can tell me what you think killed that guy immediately get the tack insertion you know in my usual tack insertion spot on derail and just go through having my way with them and I like to assume they like it I'm running the typical flank kit marathon cold-blooded um, I think ninja all of these pro and yeah I do take off commando uh, I wasn't sure if this is going to be one of those clans that horrible or if it might have been an actual organized clan and I find when organized clans get together I see more heartbeat sensors than I do against random people so I did throw on ninja because I thought it might be a good idea to have I was wrong I don't remember actually I can't really say anything I'm I only died like one time before the clan leave so I don't know if they were using heartbeat sensors or not but got behind them giggity just defense C kill them run behind where they're hopefully spawning until spawn switch and yeah it's another one of those games where my biggest problem was running out of ammo I'm out of M4 ammo or close to it I don't remember but and then I actually end up running out of P P2000 <laughs> PP but anyway and just on a little side note that message I got was of course a message because he's hosting a 10th prestige lobby and I'm honest to God tired of those messages if for some reason this video attracts anyone who sends those messages stop you don't make anybody happy you don't encourage anyone you're an asshole I hope you get banned and yeah that's pretty much it and if this causes anyone to unsubscribe I'll be honest I'm not going to be bothered by that no I don't have many subscribers and it does kind of hurt the channel but I'd rather not have you subscribe to my channel if you're the type of person who gets into hacked lobbies and tries to encourage other people to do that or if you are just scamming people either way you're an asshole back to the game this is actually where I realized that the clan had left with my AC-130 because there was no red squares anywhere host left and you can actually see that there was only four people yeah they're, they're nowhere I got my AC-130 and they're just all gone I don't know what to say during this AC-130 I don't kill anyone I just fly around there's one red square but he's inside the building so I just kinda kinda watch him for a while there's it was very sad I don't know if maybe the other people just have cold-blooded which is possible but oh well the people that join in really didn't fare too much better they were they were a little bit better than that clan I died a couple times but uh not enough to I don't have to give him credit for too much. So apparently, my problem is I play with Wheezy too much. Giggity.
Not really. I, I enjoy playing with them. It's so much fun. It, playing with people is the only way this game's bearable, usually. Because otherwise, it's just way too frustrating, at least when you're playing at the same time as somebody else. That's still kind of a giggity, but I try to lighten it up a little. But you can be mad at the same time as somebody else, and you can vent your anger in nonviolent ways. Or in slightly violent ways. Or in slightly homosexual ways. I mean, um. Never mind. Anyway. Gay jokes aside. Still just running around back there, as you can clearly see. Killing them whenever I see an opportunity. And. I'm still not sure. While, while I'm playing this, I'm not sure of how the new peoples are stacking up, so uh, I, I'm, I'm playing a little bit more cautious right now. I don't know if I should run at them like I would like to do, or if I should just kind of hang back, not camp so much as just run around this building more, kind of keep it pinned down. And I decided to do that just to play it safe. Uh, then I noticed they were started capturing other points like A, I think maybe B at one point, and I realized that the spawns had switched, but enough people actually still ended up back here that it was okay. One thing I will say about my stealth kits is you'll notice that I don't use the stronger guns. A lot of people say that the TAR is the perfect gun for the stealth kits, and I can understand why they say that. It's a, it's stronger than the M4. It ha has surprisingly low recoil. I mean, it, it has some recoil, but it's manageable at close or medium range. The reason I use the M4 or a couple reasons I use the M4 is one, because it has no recoil, and even if it is weak, I can still kind of snipe at people at longer ranges, which is harder to do with the TAR. It's possible, but it's easier with the M4, and I prefer that. I prefer to be as effective as I can at any range. And you're probably thinking at that point, well, why not use the ACR, which has even less than the almost no recoil of the M4. It has. It is as strong as the M4. And the reason I choose the M4 over it is because, honestly, it's because I'm loyal to it. It was my favorite gun in Call of Duty 4, and that is why I prefer it over the ACR. I don't have any any good reason, any logical reason, it is because. I loved it in a previous game, so that has passed on to this game. Fortunately, it looks like they took C again, so I can be behind their area as much as possible, and game's over. There's my score if you can see it. I'll post it in the information if you can't, and you guys have a good night.